things and they talked to Megan about it, is that not only is it Sabrina, you got a Ruthie Heber, Sabali, mm. Oli, there's a lot of talent there, it's not just Sabrina, so yeah. how do you deal with it all? Uh, great team defense, you know, when our offense hasn't been um, too good, our defense has held, held us down and that's what's going to have to happen um, tomorrow night. What's been a key defensively? It's, I mean, obviously, it's not just one stopper. It's got to be a collective unit. What's okay. gotten better with the defense this year? Um, keeping teams to um, one shot. I think our, re our rebounding has improved a lot, um, more than what we probably thought it was going to be, you know, being undersized for most, um, most games that we played in. Um, and then understanding when we have to turn up our, team, our, our defensive intensity because we know our offense isn't um, where it should be. Did you expect Megan to be this good a rebounder? Of course, you know she's a physical, uh, a physical person, just in general. But she can go inside and she can go outside and chase the balls out on the outside too. So um, she doesn't get uh, ten plus rebounds every night. You know, like, what are you doing? How would the experience of all these out of conference games, your younger players have played this year already, help you tomorrow? Um, I think it helps a lot because they've they've had to play different roles in in all of them so far um i'm included in the usa game um so they should be fine tomorrow um or on our home court so that they should feel just fine uh if we were going to oregon i think it would probably be a different story how much will you rely on the fans tomorrow to drop your back and kind of keep you guys up um a lot you know it plays a part of it um like i said i feel like if we were going to oregon it would be a little bit different but we're on our home court and it's at gamble and i think that that even means a little bit more do you remember from i know it was a while ago but mm -hmm. freshman year oregon was kind of just you know they didn't really expect to be there playing in bridgeport and yeah um when the game kind of started it, it kind of felt that way and now I, Things are obviously different, you know. They're in conversation for national champion, um, and um, they've they've been here before, not physically here, but like they've been in situations like this before. So uh, I think their approach to the game is going to be a lot different. Um, probably that she doesn't get frazzled. You know, teams throw their best shot at her night in and night out, and you know she continues to do what she does. Can you a triple double? No. Yeah, I, that's, that's, a, that's a lot to do. Rebounding, assists, um, and points, it's hard to do. Is this the best team you've played this year, do you think, after you looked at the film and you thought about it a little bit? We haven't looked at the film yet. Um, best team, I don't know, because I haven't seen them. Obviously, it's not just Sabrina who brings challenges. You have right. and Ruthie and um, Sachu, obviously, too. Mm -hmm. What kind of you know, issues could they kind of pose on the court? How do you guys kind of stop them while also trying to stop Sabrina? Yeah, um, Ruthie down low, a physical body, um, staying out of foul trouble with that, staying out of foul trouble with for everybody. And then uh, Sabli, you know, she just creates a mental problem because she can't go outside, she can put it on the floor, and she can bang down low. So. Um, I believe that's going to be Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Megan's going to have her hands full with some issues. You have a big game tomorrow, but you take some time to watch. Do you, do you care about the Super Bowl tonight? Will you watch? Yeah, I'll watch. Um, obviously not all of it because I'll have to go to sleep at some point. But, um, yeah, I'll watch it. What do you like in the game? Um, I'm probably going to be going for the Chiefs. Thank you. What are your team, favorite team, NFL team? Um, I don't have a favorite NFL okay. team. Just watch. Yeah. You guys weren't pleased after the other other night. Did you figure things out? You said you're gonna talk about things. Do you feel like the team is mentally focused right now for this? Yeah, because um, you know you can't dwell on what ha what happened. Um, and we do have another chance to come out on the floor and be better. And we're gonna have to be a better, or otherwise we're gonna get blown out. You guys. You know, we talk a lot about Oregon's offense, just their ability to put up points, but there's certain things about their defense that you guys are keying in on that could pose problems, or is it more about focusing on you guys, like having your offense operate as it should? I believe so, and I think that's pretty much how it is every game, um, because the defense can do whatever they want, but um, we we still have the power to, you know, um, pick them apart in whichever way we choose. Does it feel like the off like things are in a good spot with the offense, knowing that in the past month you've seen like you know, the freshmen have really taken a step forward, and you know Liv's kind of rebounded too after some kind of outings? Yeah, um, and it, it kind of gives us a sense like anybody at any time can step up and do um, bigger things than what they're used to doing. 
Um, but tomorrow night, I think it's going to take everybody to dust up on the floor to be doing their job, be their best self, and, and get a win. When you say that you guys have the ability to pick them apart, you just have a lot of faith in, in the players on this team. If, if you execute well, you can do it against anyone? Absolutely. Um, and uh, it's been like that since since the jump. We just haven't been able to put it together for um, multiple games. But um, we've seen it in practice. We've seen it in games for stretches. But we have to put it together for 40 minutes tomorrow. Have you guys practiced much with Jamel on the court? Uh, it was just uh, yesterday. Okay. Um, uh, probably the fact that it's going to put pressure on us to um, play really good basketball. It's not a game where we're going to have to we can re relax and have lulls for long stretches of time. Uh, we're going to have to play good basketball for 40 minutes and not fall asleep.